Ron and Janie. Is it good? I hadn't noticed. Have front page, please. <sighs> oh, no. It says here that more Americans are saving money. Everybody but you would consider that a good thing. Oh, no, don't you get it? If they save it, they don't spend it. And if they don't spend it, they're not going to go to college. And then college teachers like Dad will be out of work, which means I'll be homeless. <laughs> Morning. Hi, sweetie. Oh, great <laughs> comics. Excuse me. I was reading that. But, Dad, I thought you wanted me to take an interest in reading. Oh, well, I guess I'll just become a terrorist. Keep it. Besides, I still have the classifieds. Maybe I can find us some discount tickets to the Grand Canyon, huh? Oh, sure. Yeah. Hey, come on, leave Dad alone. Don't knock his dreams. Thanks, Matt. At least one of my offspring still believes in me. <laughs> well, I also believe Doogie Howser's a real doctor. <laughs> go on, mock me. But one of these days, we're going to go to that Great Canyon. Of course we are, dear. Okay. Hey, Dad, can I uh, see that? I'm gonna buy a new amp. I want one that'll blow out the windows. <laughs> Jenny, let's get the band together and practice. I'm working on a new song. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh, oh, rain to jump home. Need a little more fruit in your diet, Dennis. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I can't practice today. Kathy and I are going boot shopping on Melrose. Oh, come on, you can do that anytime. If we practice, we'll get a real gig this summer. I know it. Sorry. Good morning, neighbors. And let your day start right, because Sly's in sight. Good morning, Sly. Hey. hey, Jenny, what do you say you and I take a romantic little jaunt up the coast and find a cozy spot in the sand for two? Mm, that sounds wonderful. It does? Oh, we spread out a little blanket. Yeah. You put your arm around me. Uh -huh. Our lips move closer. Yeah. And just as we're about to kiss, uh -huh. you wake up and remember that you're a lonely, disgusting slime ball. Toodles. <laughs> I love it when she talks rough. <laughs> Come on, Matt, let's go down to Sharky's. You know what they say, the early bird gets the babes. All right. See you guys. Bye, honey. Maybe we could find Matt a new best friend in here, huh? <laughs> Good morning. You know, the only thing standing between you and thousands of beautiful screaming groupies is lack of good management. For the 10 millionth time, Sly, we don't need a manager. Of course you do. Who put the E in Bowie? A manager. Who put the U in U2? A manager. And who put the N in Guns N Roses? A manager. And who put the up in Shut Up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Oh. What's up? I thought today was your day off. I need the extra cash. There's a major deficit in my dating budget. Well, I'm glad you're here, because we have to talk about some vital band biz. Yeah, but hold, hold that thought, huh? Excuse me, Vanessa. Now I'm gonna have to place you under citizen's arrest because your looks are killer. <laughs> Tony, you're too much. Ooh. Oh, I love being me. <laughs> so what's up, man? He still wants to manage our band. Man, do the words not in this lifetime mean anything to you, Sylvester? <laughs> the name's Sly. Never, ever call me Sylvester. You got it, Sylvester. <laughs> Tiffany! What are you doing inside? The surf out there looked pretty gnarly. It is. But every time I line up to catch a good wave, suddenly there's 20 guys around me. I don't get it. It's such a big ocean. Oh, man. It's Randy Joe. She is so beautiful. And so rich. I'd love to go out with her just once. Yeah. In that case, let me give you some advice, Matthew. Huh? No, no. Let me give you some advice there, Mr. Wicks. You want to keep your job? Try doing your job. Saki, Saki, my man, come on. I'm on my break, huh? You know, the one that you are required to give all employees by California law. Ooh, I'm all a quiver. <laughs> In this place, I am the law. Now, you got two minutes. And, uh, tuck in that shirt, huh? <laughs> Matt, if you want to go out with Randy Joe, why don't you just go over and ask her? I can't. I get all stupid. 
my mind, I'm saying you're so beautiful, but my mouth says you're so blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Well, you better hope she's a mind reader, because here she comes. Oh. Hi, you're Matt Garrison, right? Yes, I... Okay, uh... <laughs> I'm Randy Joe Manning. I hear you have a band. Yeah, they're the California Dreams. Right. Can I listen to you guys play sometime? Y yeah, yeah we, we practice every day. Well, great, can I come by today? Uh, sure, sure, at 2 o'clock at, uh, uh, at, at uh, <laughs> 128 Ocean Drive. Great, I'll see you later. Smooth, man. Very smooth. <laughs> Very smooth. <laughs> Randy Joe. Hi. Hey. What a surprise. I, I mean, I, I knew you were coming. I, I mean, I, how was your trip? <laughs> uh, the, the dude's a poet. Uh, excuse me. Here you go. Front row seat. Thank you. By the way, we're taking applications for groupies. Uh, don't worry. If he touches you, it comes off with sandpaper. All right. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. party at my parents' yacht club on Friday. Is there any way you guys can play? You mean like a gig? Yeah. Huh. But they don't play for less than $250. $250? OK, I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. We got a job! Yeah! <laughs> 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 You wanted me? You won't believe this. We're playing a party. And they're actually paying us $250. Wow, that's great. It'll pay for the dishes. <laughs> well, when is this? This Friday night. Oh, Dad, Dad, Dad. Oh, what a greeting. Dad, we've got some great news. Me too. Now, you've been kidding me for a long time, but I finally did it. There's no backing out now. I bought us tickets to the Grand Canyon. We fly out this Friday afternoon. Friday? <laughs> yep! <laughs> Let's see, how, how do I put this delicately? We can't play. Dad bought tickets to the stupid Grand Canyon and we fly out Friday. What? <laughs> Very delicate. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Tell him you've got plans and understand. No, yeah. he won't. He's going to be really angry if we tell him we don't want to go. I guess there's only one thing left for us to do. Yeah, get mom to tell him. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not telling him. Come on, mom. You know how important this is to us. Yes. Yeah. And you know how important the Grand Canyon is to your father. I'm sorry, but it's your party, so it's your responsibility to tell him. Yeah, I guess you're right. But when you do tell him, be sure he isn't near anything breakable. <laughs> after dad kills you? Dennis, dad's not gonna kill anyone. Face it, you guys are doomed. Doomed! <laughs> doomed! Oh, come on, guys, we gotta think of something. It is our first gig. Well, Randy Joe liked us a lot. Maybe she'll move her party to next weekend. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's an that idea. is That'll a work. great idea. You gotta call her right now. Oh, uh, actually, I'll ask her tomorrow night. Uh, we sort of have a date. Matt, I'm proud of you. <laughs> How was your date? She wouldn't move the party, right? I knew it was a waste of time. So, uh, how's your day? 
Did you kiss her? Well, let me explain something. This is my room. That is the door to my room. Before you come into my room, you're supposed to knock on the door to my room. Matt, you're obsessing. Did she or didn't she move the party? Plus, it's not polite to ask personal questions about someone's love life. Come in. Now, you see, Mom respects my privacy. How was your date? Mom! <laughs> I mean, did Randy Joe move her party? I couldn't ask her. Why not? She was so beautiful. The room was so nice. She was so beautiful. Don't! Hi! Are you guys all excited about the Grand Canyon? That's one way of putting it. <laughs> Me too. Ooh, check this out. I've arranged for us to ride to the bottom of the canyon on burrows. <laughs> Burrows, how nice. <laughs> Honey, uh, Matt and Jennifer need to tell you something. Good luck. Good night. Dad! Come on, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Dad, you see, Jenny really wanted to tell you. <laughs> oh, uh, my head, it's swelling. You know, I must be getting the mumps. <laughs> What's going on, Matt? Dad, right before you came home last night, we got hired to play our first gig. Hey, that's great! Why didn't you tell me? Oh, well, I wanted to, but you were so jazzed about the Grand Canyon. Oh, you should have told me. Now we both have great news. Not really. The gig's this Friday night. Well, how can it be this Friday night? We're gonna beat the Grand Canyon. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And I guess you and Jenny don't want to go? I understand. Um, obviously, it wasn't a good time. R really? You mean you're not mad? No, I, I should have asked if you had plans. It's my fault. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's our fault. Come on, Dad, get mad. Please. <laughs> No, it's okay. I guess we just won't go. <laughs> Congratulations on the gig. I can't believe you guys aren't playing at Randy Joe's party. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't do it to Dad. It was his dream to go to the Grand Canyon long before it was our dream to be a band. I've never seen my father so bummed out. Boy, your dad is one lucky guy to have such thoughtful children. Tiffany, you're not helping. <laughs> I don't believe this. We practice together practically every day for the last two years. And now that we finally get a gig, you guys are just gonna bail? Nah, nah, you can't do that. Yeah. You think this was easy for us? What would you do if it was your dad? Are you kidding? But I tell that big, mean, gig wrecking, moved his family out the ghetto to have a better life popsicle head, that I'm going to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Wait, if I can come up with some way for you guys to take a later flight, like after the show, would you still play? Yes. Of course, but we can't exchange the tickets. They're non-refundable. Jenny, Matt, you've known me for 12 years. Have I ever let you down? <laughs> All right, but I've never gotten you arrested. <laughs> Just leave it to me. All right, Mr. Shahabada, let's exchange those plane tickets to the Grand Canyon. Uh, no, 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 no. I am so apologizing. No exchange tickets until you meet famous rock stars, as you promised. All right, well, get your cameras ready, because I'd like to introduce you and your family to the one, the only, Van Halen. Come on. It is an honor to meet me, Mr. Van Halen. It's a pleasure to meet you too, sir. I saw you last spring at the Gandhi Stadium in Calcutta. Even from the back row, you were most awesome, dude. I can't believe they're actually buying this. 
we're gonna get arrested and deported. <laughs> Mr. Slicer, would you please do us the extreme pleasure of snapping us in a picture with Mr. Vanilla? Sure, I'll snap you in a picture. Right this way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait a second. I, I, I can't go through with this. What? This whole thing's a lie. <gasps> Holy moly! Van Halen wears a wig! <laughs> Snap pictures. We will send them to the inquirer. So I can't start to say sayonara. Uh, Mr. Van Halen has a concert to perform. I'll take those tickets right. now. Come on, sir. Family, right this way. Thank you very much for Check coming. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, all right, you guys are the best audience we've ever played for. We're gonna take a quick five, and we'll be right back. Whoa, oh, what a rush, man! I know! They were clapping for us. I got chills. You guys are hot. You made my party. Hey, thanks. We're having a blast. <laughs> oh, this is my friend Dawn. She's having her sweet 16 next month. Maybe she'll want the California Dreams to play. Like, I want it to be a bodacious shindig. So, it's gonna be on the beach, like a surfing Sweet 16. <laughs> I'll take this one, bro, huh? Yeah. So, a sweet thing, where's this uh, beach blanket, bingo, Frankie and Annette happening, happening? Huh? Hey, all right. Looking good, Dad. <laughs> You're wonderful. Oh, I'm proud of you guys. Look, I don't know how you managed to switch our flight, but thanks. Most kids wouldn't have gone through the trouble. Uh, most kids don't have you for a father. Oh, man. <laughs> How about one more song? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. I think that's a few. Yeah. All right. This is going to be our last song. I wrote it special for tonight. Thanks a lot. Good night. You guys are great! Yes! I'm glad to be a part of it, even if it is just as a friend. Sly, we don't want you as our friend. Huh? Why not? 
Because we want you as our friend and our manager. Really? You mean it? Well, after all you did for us, we figured you kind of deserved it. Yes. yes. Yeah, but just don't screw up, Sylvester. You got it. Yeah.